I thought she was old enough that we could have her set her own resolutions. And of course, I'll have my own that I want to put in, so that maybe I can help her with it. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to Hey Mamas and Happy New Year. It's getting closer to my birthday. What is your birthday? April 14th. Or with the countdown is already starting. So I've always done these videos in the past where I talk about my New Year's resolutions. I thought she was old enough that we could have her set her own resolutions. And of course, I'll have my own that I want to put in, some that maybe I can help her with. I didn't mention something yesterday, but what is a goal that you really want to try to accomplish this year? I want to get better at cartwheels and I want to be good at handstands. Handstands too. We actually kind of took a break from gymnastics. So that was another resolution. Um, I asked her if there's anything new she wants to try or a sport she wants to play. And she said she wants to go back into gymnastics. And I think that goes great with her resolution. We're gonna do a little craft today. And I thought this would be something fun to share with you all because maybe you could do it or you could do it with your kids. And it'd be a fun way to visually put their goals onto paper for the kids. We're going to need some different colors of paper. You can let them choose the colors. I'm choosing lighter color papers because I'm gonna be writing on it. You're gonna need some scissors, like a pin, and something to hang this up with too. We're basically making a resolution wreath. So first thing we're gonna do, Layla, is we're gonna make your handprint in each different color and we're gonna need to have the amount for however many resolutions you have. So before you get going, it'd be a good idea to kind of talk to your kids about what their resolutions are and figure out how many there are. So Layla said she wants to start gymnastics and she wants to get better at her cartwheels and handstands. We can put cartwheels and handstands on one. So that's two resolutions right there. Now I have a few of my own that I want to add on to there, kind of like my mom input and things that I can do to help her with it. I'm actually a little tip, fold it in half. So that way if you need more, you're gonna have two when you cut it. One thing that I think that would be good for not just her, but for our whole family is seriously cut down on TV time. And I don't want to just say cut down because then that could, you know, mean a lot of different things. But I think we need to be better about turning the TV off when we're not watching it. First kind of monitor how long we're watching TV and then maybe try to cut that in half. Layla's doing so well with her writing and working on her penmanship, so I went ahead and wrote down two of them. Cartwheel and handstand will go on one, and then the start gymnastics go on another, so she can write these down, so she can look and see how to spell them. Even though you're getting great at sounding things out, some of these words are a little tricky. So I was trying to like do it in categories, like things I wanna learn, things I wanna start. So start gymnastics, learn cartwheel and handstand, and things I wanna do less of, and I thought the screen time. And then another thing is just like trying to be healthy. So I wanna put on, and again, this is for the whole family, ah. but one serving of fruit, one serving of vegetables a day, and if we get more than that, that's great. We gotta work our way up there. It's looking good. You're doing the cartwheel handstand one. Love it. Another one, I'm kind of realizing this is turning in more towards like a family resolution um, wreath because I want to do Angie's on here because Angie's only 18 months. There's not a whole lot of resolutions for an 18 month old, but she has got to get off her bottle and she's obsessed with milk. She's only supposed to have like 16, at most 16 ounces a day. We need to cut down on the milk. So I'm going to write down here, cut down on milk and bottles for Angie. Now, of course, me being um, a homeschool mom, I I want to add in some academic things to here. And one thing I want to do, even though we practice our reading a lot, I want to make sure she's always, and we read to her a lot, I want her to read one book a day. So it, whether it's like a little Bob book or anything. Are you tired? Am I, bore, am I boring you? Layla to read one book a day. We can start that now after we're done with this. She's actually getting so good at her Bob books. I totally recommend Bob books for any of you parents out there with kindergartners. Really easy words to sound out, like three letter CDC words and really sets them up for success and feeling confident with their reading. We need to get better about doing chores. We need to get more of a chore schedule and stick with it. So it's like, a, like maybe like a different chore each day. And one other thing, hopefully by the end of the school year, I want her to know her addition and subtraction facts up to 10. That's a big one. Okay, so now we choose like a center to be our circle and we're going to basically glue all of our hands around this. Another pink, one. Pink, pink. pink. Another one. Here 
is our wreath now. Kind of had to move some things around to make sure you could see it all. And we're gonna let that dry. Once this dries, we'll put this up somewhere where we all can be reminded about it and we'll get working on all these, right? Layla, what fruits are you liking right now? Because this changes weekly. What fruit do you like now? Do you Orange. like oranges? So, oh, we have oranges. We have little clementines, so that could be your fruit for today, so that's good. Now, Angie, on the other hand, she used to be really good about eating fruit. I'm lucky if I get her to eat an apple slice a day. So she's no, gonna be a little tricky. All right, so how about we cut up a, an orange have the orange ready for today. And you know what, Layla? It'd be kind of funny, like every few vlogs, we show you guys her cartwheels, see how they're progressing. Here is our first cartwheel first. Nice, see, she's getting her legs up so much more now. And handstand, whoa, Layla, you just did a front walkover. And I got that on video. I can't believe you just did that. Wow, okay, so maybe we need to update it that you can do a, a walkover. <laughs> So I'm getting out um, one of the Bob books she's gonna read. So we're on Bob books, the kindergarten, and we are on the stage one, learning to read. We have so many of these, and I thought today we could do the trip because we were just playing it's airplane a, this morning. Uh, it's a bit hard though. Oh, it, well, that's okay. It's very hard work. That's why I'm here to help you. I don't expect you to do it by yourself right, right away. And they're super short and TV is off right now, so that's fantastic. I don't just have it running in the background. We actually turned it off while we are playing and doing other things. So I'm learning, you know, 30 something years and it's taken me this long to just turn the TV off when you're not watching it. Match, pack, a hat. Awesome! A frog. Yeah. Finished our reading. She did fantastic with it. And now it looks like we're gonna play a little school, have some good mommy-daughter bonding time. And, well, Angie's napping, but it's really cute because later I'm sure Angie's gonna be in the school too. You'll do this again with Angie? Yeah, we call it baby school when Angie does it. All right, teacher, what are you teaching me today? Well, you better sit down here. Oh, I have to sit over here? Everybody, welcome back to school on New Year's and Christmas break. That's right, yes. All right, we're gonna play here for a little bit and then move on to some of our other resolutions a little bit later. And we're gonna be going to open gym soon and maybe we'll sign her up for gymnastics and we'll practice some more of her cartwheels and handstands. I just realized you probably don't know what I meant when I said open gym. Uh, there's a local gymnastics place here and every like day around noon or something, they open the gym up and you just go play. So it'll be a perfect chance to go and practice. ready for lunch now and of course I made sure there was a piece of fruit on her plate and Layla asked for a poached egg. I know she's five and a half and she likes poached eggs. I am usually awful at making those but I saw something really cool on Instagram about how you can make it using like a mesh strainer so I'm gonna test it out so you guys get to see if this is like an epic fail or a total win right now. Crack an egg in here. You guys have to swirl it around a little bit. Okay, but you don't want to break the yolk. Okay, so far I'm doing so good. Now the water's kind of simmering. I go like this, I think. Oh yeah, it's kind of turning white. It's, there's a lot of water in there. How am I, maybe I just go like that, okay. Oh yeah, that's cooking. Okay, it's been on for like three minutes, so three to five minutes. It's looking pretty good. Take it out like that. Hey, that looks pretty fancy. Looks more kind of like a breakfast, but I think I did a very good job on this. They're bouncy. <laughs> That's exactly what I was hoping you describe my food as. Bouncy. Oh, look at that. Yeah. <gasps> That looks awesome, I'm so proud of myself. Look at that, new year and I tried something different too. <laughs> it's the next morning and we're already up. TV is off now for the morning and the girls are already keeping themselves entertained. It's amazing, you rely on the TV a lot but when you turn it off you realize just how creative they are. And Layla's idea today was to blow up some balloons, make little faces on paper, cut them out and put them on the balloons and they make them little balloon friends. Angie has one that Sissy helped her do. Michael Jackson is here. 
<laughs> yeah, there's Layla. She made hers look like Michael Jackson because she loves Michael Jackson. So we're doing this for a little bit. My mom's actually coming over some too because I have a phone call to do later for work. And then we're going to be going to open gym so Layla can practice some of her cartwheels and handstands. We can work on that and, you know, just keep working towards our goals. And one thing I want to do because it's still the beginning of the year. We have a lot of time to forget about these. And I don't want to be one of those people that by the end of January, I've already forgotten about them. So I was thinking we put it right here in our kitchen so we can always see it. And you know, maybe we'll end up realizing it should go in her room later on. But for now, I think it should be in the kitchen so all of us can get used to what our resolutions are so we can all be working on them. Some time, let's see a girl. Good handstand. This is fun. It's like a perfect little obstacle course. Now, Layla, you gotta do a cartwheel on the balance beam. <laughs> Just kidding. Woo, good job. just left. That was another fun thing doing for New Year's. No TV, we just had friends over playing outside and now we are making our vegetable side dish for today. And I found this recipe for air fryer ranch broccoli. And I'm gonna try this with the girls. We just did some broccoli and we put some of this ranch dip mix on there some garlic and olive oil. We're gonna throw it in the air fryer and see what the girls think of it. All right, these are done. Hopefully this makes veggies a little bit better. Oh, Layla, stop hitting yourself. What are you doing? What are you doing? That means you're broccoli. Here, Angie. Go ahead. What do you think, Lay? Is it good? So we're gonna stick to our New Year resolutions. There we go. So let us know some of your all's New Year's resolutions in the comments. We'd love to hear them and let me know what you think about our craft. Hopefully you can do something fun like this with your family. Happy New Year, everyone.